but what is it about graduation that is really exciting and, and why are you glad that we're rescheduling it? What are you looking forward to with that? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think when it comes to graduation, I was terrified that they would just be canceled and that we wouldn't get the opportunity to kind of officially wrap up everything that we had gone through in the four years, everything that we had put into our education, into our community, into just the four years of life of living on campus in this itty bitty town of Sterling um, that has brought so many good things. And so I think it's just that monumental, like monumental, just goodbye. Like, thank you for everything you've done. Like you have pushed me to grow to this new person and I'm entering the world now. And it's kind of just that sweet bliss of sad bliss, honestly, sad bliss of just like finally growing into the person that hopefully you're going to continue to grow yeah. um, as you go into the community. And That's so whenever they, yeah, it's bittersweet. There you go. And so, um, I think personally, whenever they said it was postponed, I got extremely happy because like Lexi said, just the idea of being able to see everyone again is gonna make, I think, honestly, that moment even sweeter than it normally would be mm -hmm. um, on May 16th. I think it's just gonna bring so much more um, love and emotions and just that community-driven feeling of the fact that we survived COVID-19 and we're here whether whatever day we choose, um, we were here, we survived COVID, we survived the four years and let's go crazy for this weekend. And so I'm, I'm extremely happy that they've decided to postpone it and to pick another date. Um, despite obviously the challenges that come with moving it to that date for everyone involved. But I think it's way, it's a much better option than canceling it. Well, and I, I agree. And the word that comes to mind over and over for me about normal graduations, but then even in an extra way about this one is celebration. Um, mm, and, yeah. and you all deserve a celebration, <laughs> not just of your achievement in the classroom over the last few years, but of your resiliency in the midst of uh, this change and still rolling with it. So Lexi, what are you just super pumped for the celebration of a rescheduled graduation? Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most. I know that I had talked with my friends about like, hey, if this school year gets canceled, um, how about we all come? <laughs> we all come on May 16th and just I'm gonna walk across Cooper Lawn no matter what. <laughs> I am just I am just gonna like whether it's just me walking across the grass. Hey, I'll who's that my... outside? <laughs> <laughs> she was just walking back and forth, shaking the hands, shaking hands with the air. <laughs> I um, oh um, so I'll, I'm gonna celebrate this no matter what. But the idea that I get to do that with my friends and family and be able to um, just see the people who have like encouraged me along, um, just like my whole college journey, um, that will be really. Um, I think fulfilling um, to be able to um, just be just um, be together and celebrate. Um, yeah, in an where, official capacity, not in an unofficial. Yes. Awkward. Lexi's alone out on Cooper Lawn. What's happening? We have to call security. <laughs> oh my gosh. 